next question comes from Drizzy Drake. Um, hello, Collider movie crew. I'm a huge fan and my life wouldn't be complete without your show. <laughs> I recently saw the trailer for Concussion and thought it was wonderful. However, I have read multiple reports stating that Sony removed certain scenes from the movie because they were afraid of angering the NFL. I was very disappointed when I read this because I'm a huge football fan and want to see this story told truthfully. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Thanks and keep on being the best damn movie-related show. Uh, thanks a lot for the question. Well, I mean... First of all, if you watch the trailer and think for one second Sony's trying not to offend the NFL, right. then you haven't watched the trailer. Right. I mean, that the whole, entire thing is an anger, <laughs> anger incident. <laughs> like Tell the, whole, the truth. Yeah. Tell, Tell the, the truth. truth. <laughs> like the whole yeah. trailer is yeah. like, holy Wait. crap! Like they're going yeah. full yeah. guns. Now, I actually read uh, comments from the director of the film talking about those early hacked emails and the director saying look that had nothing that's nothing but the common back and forth deciding the normal procedure about deciding what goes in the movie now what doesn't go in the movie now the director also then told a specific story about a scene they did cut out of the film that involved Roger Goodell and a late night phone call between Roger Goodell and these two other dudes um, that would have been very inflammatory sure absolutely but at the end of the day the director basically basically what the director said was at the end of the day it was an incident that I never heard, and that we got from secondhand, not even first person knowledge, people involved, just secondhand, we heard that that happened. We had no proof that that conversation happened. And he said, there's always, when you're doing biopics, there's always a constant communication between your creative department and your legal department, making sure you aren't crossing line into defamation and all that kind of stuff. And he said, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't know that that conversation happened between Goodell. So at that point, it's not a true story anymore. It becomes kind of fiction, and we made the decision to pull it out. If the trailer to me didn't look so damning to the NFL, I might still scratch my head a little bit, but clearly Sony is not afraid of ticking off the NFL. So I, I really see it as a non-story personally. I don't know. you. What do you think about it? Well, I, I agree with you 100%. And I think that you, from reading the comments too, I understand where people, you initially hear this and you go, oh, they're changing stuff because they don't want to get in bad with the NFL. But when you really read into it, because to be honest with you, when I heard, because someone had tweeted it out to me, like, look, they're, they're changing it up because the NFL. And I, and I saw the headline. I'm like, okay, I could see where this is going. And then you read those comments and if there's some, I think some execs as well who were basically saying the same thing they, they cut stuff around because they because you take creative license sometimes but you have to be very careful in this particular circumstance right. because you didn't want to run into the those issues to where the nfl's like no that's not what happened it's actually going against uh, this report because it, it's more like they're trying to keep in as much as is absolutely right. true right yes. so that Which way is even more damning ma more yes. damning because if you start making a, oh, that never happened where they, well that actually did happen that happened that happened it's this is going to be a huge story until this movie comes out, after this movie comes out, this is a, and one of the things too is Sony is one of the few studios who doesn't have any ties to the NFL. So they, that's why they made the movie in the first place, you know, with the deals, endorsement deals, and, you know, like obviously Fox isn't going to be doing, CBS right. or the studios aren't going to be doing anything along this nature. But, um, yeah, so I, I, I don't know, I, I do think it's a story. I wouldn't say it's a non story because we're good, because, when you hear something like that, because we're talking about it, and it's it's pretty fascinating to know oh, yeah. this. So, uh, but but I don't think that they change stuff to say, okay, NFL, look, we're telling we're painting you guys in a good light. I right. think they're going after them. Yeah. Now, Disney uh, does have a connection to the NFL, well, ABC, yeah, uh, or, or and and ESPN and ESPN, right? Um, stuff like that. But I, but yeah, no, I think what you said you articulated really well. Schnapp. Yeah. Also, I mean the way the the way the question by Drizzy was phrased. Uh, it sounds like he was more interested in like, well, what are these cutscenes? Uh, you know, what are they trying to hide? And it's sort of like when we heard that uh, Mary Jane, who was played by the Divergent, oh right, uh, Shailene Shailene Woodley, Woodley. Right, like, right. There was sh shots of her on set. There was obviously like, oh, she's a character in this movie, and then she was disappeared. She like they, you know, that that whole subplot is gone. Right. Never heard from again. We don't know what that was going to be in the Amazing Spider-Man Two. Going like this, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't know about the director's cut. It's yeah. going to be eight hours long. Who knows if they'll ever you know resurrect those scenes? But that's like that's a you know a scripted feature film, just like this is a scripted feature film. Right. But this is based on fact. So what you're saying is basically what you read is like, hey, look, it's a hearsay type thing. We can't. We don't want to give them any gunpowder where they could be yes. like, oh, you know. So you are you, when you when you're doing a biopic when you're making a doc or anything like that you're just trying to stick to exactly what is real what people actually said either you have them on on file saying that and it's proof 
or it's like it happened. Here's proof that it happened. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that this film could be any less damning for the NFL because it's like, you know, they're still using somewhat of the same kind of uh, mechanical. You know, the helmets are the same. You know, certain things they probably upgraded for for safety, but that's a, a bigger story that this movie is going to open up. Now, like, who's the who's the commissioner before Goodell, Goodell again? Uh, I th thought it started with the T. I can't oh, remember. Um, let's just say let's just say okay. Smith. It's not Smith, but let's just say the the if, if this trailer was you know opened up with a scene of you know from the 1980s of the the commissioner of the NFL at the time sitting around a board table, like, gentlemen, I've just been made aware that there might be health risks to our players. Paul Tagliabue. Tagliabue, thank yeah. you. I knew it started with a T. There are health risks to our players. We need to get to the bottom of this. And then I would go, okay, yeah, maybe Sony's trying to whitewash this a bit, right. but did not strike me that way. No. 